Hey legends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian Carlson and today we're going to be talking about champagne. We are going to discuss how to chill champagne, how to open champagne, how to pour champagne in a glass and how to drink champagne. But most importantly, how to enjoy champagne. So everything is going to be about champagne, champagne. Now, if you ask me, when should you always drink champagne? Well, I can drink champagne when I'm happy. I can drink champagne when I'm sad. I sometimes drink champagne when I'm alone. But when I have company, I consider that obligatory. I trifle with it if I am not hungry and I drink it when I am. Otherwise, I never touch it unless I am thirsty. So in short, you can drink champagne if you have it and feel for it anytime. What temperature should you serve your champagne on? Short answer non too chilled but cool ideal serving temperature most champagnes are good at 46 degrees fahrenheit or about 8 degrees celsius but for the vintage champagne then it changes a little bit to about 50 degrees fahrenheit or about 10 degrees celsius if your champagne is too cold or too warm you miss out on some flavors to get the temperature you need it should be about 3 to 4 hours in the fridge or about 15 to 20 minutes in the chilling ice bucket. If you don't have that much time, you can add in salt. As we see, we have our salt right over here. You can always buy salt in the supermarket or any grocery shop. So you can always add in salt into your chilling basket. That is if you don't have so much time. And your champagne should be able to chill in about 5 minutes. So, how do we open our bottle of champagne? Basically, we have two options. Sabouillage or Cyber, which I personally have never tried and probably I will never do that. It creates a huge mess and it's more of a show. So, the best way of opening a champagne is take your bottle, as you can see, you get a towel over it, grab a towel, white towel always and dry it off like I'm doing so we're gonna have to peel off our like you can see so we take off the wire the file off first and then we take off the wire cage as well as the marzo then we add our white towel or white tissue and then for just extra extra protection and then there use your right hand if you're right-handed and use your left hand if you're left-handed so that way you can turn and twist the bottle not the muzzle you twist the bottle so always put the cork away from people and if you have bad luck that day the cork might even hit someone or it might hit the chandelier so how should we pour champagne and what glass should we use well the most popular stylish is the champagne fluid which is elegant and stylish and with that being said at the end of the day I suggest simply go for the one that you have and like the most I personally like these ones when you pour champagne most people hold by the neck of the bottle but the most elegant way is put your thumb to the bottom of the bottle and pour it 
all, you hold the glass in an angle slowly, pour it down, then wait a little bit for the foam to subsidize and then top it off. The glass should always be half full. Never fill the champagne glass all the way up. It shows that you don't know what you're doing and we as elegant legends, we don't want to have a situation of embarrassment. Like so, like quickly. No. Also avoid pouring so fast because it will likely come out of the glass and it will take you longer time to fill the glass. Do it slowly at an angle and then straight it up. Never just play to the glass when it's standing on the table. Time to drink our champagne. I get my white tissue for my lipstick not to leave marks on my glass. It doesn't look so nice, especially if you're having a business meeting or you're meeting very important people. So we should always keep elegant and clean. And this is what I'm talking about. So when we do this, then our lipstick doesn't remain on the glasses. Time to drink our champagne. So take your champagne, look at it you hold the glass by here not by here just here so if your champagne is light gold that means it's a young champagne and if it's dark or more golden yellow it means it's an old champagne more rip ripping champagne so my dear elegant legends smell your champagne hold your glass hold your nose over it See what you smell. Generally, there are five aroma groups. Flowers, vegetables, fruits. And the last one, dried fruit in the elegant delicacies. Now time to take a sip on our champagne. Now time to test our champagne. Take a sip, let it roll down your tongue, down the palate, same as your mouthwash. Then that way you will get the full flavor experience. Last but the least, pay attention to the finish when it rolls down the palate. The longer the flavor lingers in your mouth, the more high end and the more better the champagne will be. That's all you need to know about the champagne today. And until next time, it's a goodbye. Thank you for watching.